Hi everybody, it's me, Father Jim, and I'm so glad that you're taking this moment to look at this video in our newsletter. It's a really wonderful way for me to communicate with you from time to time. And today, I have a special guest. It's Mark Arnowitz, our fellow parishioner and all-around good guy. And on top of that, he's wearing a new hat this time as we come forward. He's our stewardship chair for 2015, and he's got some information he wants to share with you about something that's happening this week and coming up over the next few weeks connected to stewardship. Mark, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, Father Jim. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about what autumn means to most of us. Um, it's a time of change. It's a time of gathering together and celebrating family, celebrating the harvest, and planning for the next year. Sure. And it couldn't be any prettier right now, this weather. Well, uh, we, we get out to the Warwick area, we, we check out the, um, the apples and the, uh, and the color changes and so forth, and it reminds us that uh, there's changes to come. Right. And this time of season always brings around another important season in the church, and that's the stewardship season. That's true, and uh, it's the time when we give thanks for our church families and we come together in our, uh, for a harvest dinner, for instance, which we're having Thursday night, it's a time to um, thank everyone personally mm -hmm. for the value that they have, they have shown to us uh, over, the, uh, over the year, but it's also a time to plan for 2015. And so the dinner is tomorrow night at 6.30. Do people need to bring anything with them? No, it's just, um, it's, it's you and, and myself and others uh, saying thank you to our church community and uh, by breaking of bread and, uh, and just experiencing the warmth of coming together in fellowship and uh, sharing some good conversation and, again, plan, beginning to plan for what comes next. Well, and I hear we're having a pretty special meal. Um, yes, um, Rich Bigliano and, and his band of renown will be on site to cook for us. Um, he always keeps it a secret as to what he's going to surprise us with, but I know it's always delicious. Well, Rick is an accomplished caterer, and we're looking forward to another spectacular meal. Last year's harvest dinner was amazing. That's true. And by the way, how, how can we go wrong with beautiful centerpieces like, like these? <laughs> oh, our youth group had the opportunity to paint these wonderful pumpkins to use as centerpieces on the tables. So be, there will be a lot of fun, it's something you can see when you're here. So, Mark, what are some of the other elements of our harvest dinner tomorrow night? Well, Mother Beth is going to um, treat us to her video, which is going to highlight um, the best of 2014 in video form. Oh, great. So it'll be a compilation of a lot of the activities we've had all year long? Absolutely. There, there has not been a ministry um, at our church that hasn't touched the community in some way, from our young people uh, doing local outreach uh, to bringing in um, families and, and young people for our Bible church for getting ready for our next mission trip to um, Costa Rica, to our Saturday breakfasts. Everything, um, everything comes together in fellowship and, uh, and we celebrate all these activities. Oh, I can't Thursday. wait to see it. Mother Beth has kept this under wraps. I haven't been allowed to see it at all. It'll be a surprise for me as well. And I think she thinks she's Steven Spielberg here. She's putting together the greatest movie ever. So I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, me too. And. Um, and as good as it's going to be, um, it's still going to help us chart our course for, uh, for next year because it shows us what has been accomplished and, and hints at the possibilities mm. of the year to come. So true. So true. And Mark, after Harvest Supper, what else will we be seeing as part of our stewardship program this season? Well, n nothing tells the tale better than hearing it from the membership themselves. So we have a number of uh, speakers lined up throughout uh, stewardship season to tell what to tell us what um, Christ Church has meant to them in the past and what they plan to do with relationship to Christ Church in the future. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. So personal testimonies, and when are these going to happen? Well, we're jumping right in with our letter writing campaign uh, early in the season this year. Uh, I believe it's Sunday, and uh, that's when we come together and uh, write letters to the community and uh, remind them um, of the gifts that they have given us and the gifts yet to come. Following that, we have... Um, a series of speakers lined up November 2nd through the 16th where we're going to hear from young, from our young people, from our families, and from the more seasoned parishioners as well. Oh, seasoned. That's a very, very diplomatic way of addressing some of our uh, parishioners. Thank you, Mark. Um, it is an exciting opportunity to hear what 
Christ means to people, what Christ Church means to people on a personal level. And they'll be sharing that during the different services in the coming weeks. I hope you'll be able to be here to be a part of those services, to hear what people have to say about the impact that this church is having on their lives and the lives of our community, both locally and globally. Mark, what else would you um, share with people about this coming season? Well, as I said, um, autumn is a time for coming together and giving thanks in many different ways. We have our harvest supper, we have our Thanksgiving dinner together as we enter our, our Christmas season. But it's also a time for planning and, and to remind each other that the church can't happen without each and every one of us as we decide what gifts we are going to give to the church, uh, both with our own hands and with our own uh, pocketbooks the next year. We, we need to uh, assess where, we, where we've been, where we are today, and where we would like to go as a church community. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Well, Mark, I cannot thank you enough for taking on this stewardship chairmanship. It's a lot of work, and you've done a great job, and the church thanks you as well for your efforts in making this a successful season. Well, thank you, Father Jim, but I can't do it alone, and I'm looking forward to working with um, each and every family to make this the best steward stewardship season ever. Oh, Mark, thank you. It is not too late to put in your reservation for dinner tomorrow night. When you click off of this video now, I want you to pick up your phone and call Mary in the office and give her your name so that we make sure that we have enough food tomorrow night for everyone. Please let us know you're coming. We will see you tomorrow night. Bring the whole family. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mark. You're welcome. And thank you. And thank you all.